Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to do a short video, a little unboxing and kind of mini review of the Aries resin um, carpet set for the Revel 132nd Tornado IDS or um, otherwise known as a GR1 for um, UK. So before we start there's a few different types of ways you can detail cockpit. Um, you can go with the um, color photo etch from Edward, pretty much every aircraft Edward pretty much does a set for. Um, as you can see, safety painting on the instrument, all the buttons and switches on the instrument panel. The only issue I find with these are is that it's uh, or is that it's um, a little 2D, it's a little flat. Um, whereas the resin stuff is more kind of 3D. So, a few things to know with resin. Um, firstly, health and safety disclaimer is uh, whenever you do a resin you should always wear a mask, um, a respirator and um, that dust is very toxic especially if it gets on your lungs so um, whenever you're sanding or you're cutting anything uh, make sure you are wearing a mask. Um, what I don't normally do is I have a paper towel down uh, which is damp which I'll damp in water and I cut over that so all the dust kind of sticks to the paper towel and when I'm done all that gets thrown away, um, wipe everything down, wipe my saws, my tools down um, Again, we're wearing a respirator. Once I'm done, I take that respirator off. Um, once once it's sanded and, and everything, it, once you start painting, it's fine. You don't need to wear that mask, but just the dust is a problem. So again, you know, just be careful with resin, um, especially if you're doing large items like this. Um, another thing to note with these guys is too is um, they don't always fit perfectly. Um, go online, check um, check people have built, um, use them, and you can kind of get an idea of how they go. Um, some need quite a lot of surgery. Some just need simple kind of sanding down um, of the block and also maybe a little bit sand down on the um, the walls of the plastic on the aircraft. Um, but others need some major adjustments. Um, often you'll find too is that if you you can't always use all the resin for a kit, what I mean by that is if they offer say um, wheel wells, avionics bays, cockpit, that kind of stuff, you might find that you can't get it all in. What is impossible. Um, I, I've ruined a few 148 scale Hobby Boss um, Hornets because I cut sections out the side to put avionics bays in and then I found um, if you put the avionics bays in you can't put the wheel well in or you can't put the cockpit in and that kind of thing but um, just be aware of that too so again you know go on the forums look online and kind of get reviews so this particular kit um, right here is for the um, like I said the, the Revell or Revel um, Tony GR1 there's a few different boxings of this um, there's a camo version um, the German Luftwaffe version too um, this kit will fit all of those it's the same aircraft, um, just reboxed with different decals. So, let me kind of open it up and kind of see what's inside the box here. So again, this is 30 second scale. Um, they are bringing one out for a 48 scale for the same aircraft, Tornado, I think in early 2020. Um, but this is, like I said, 30 second scale. It's been out a few years. Okay, so... Firstly, you get the tub. You get a bag of resin pieces. We'll go through all these in detail in a minute. I'll just kind of pour them all onto the table here. Um, photo wet sheet. And some instructions. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, really the first part is using the P for the seat belts, which go onto the resin seats, um, and some mirrors to the cop to the canopy, um, some instrument panel stuff, and then kind of work kind of all fits together. Um, so let's kind of go through some of these pieces real quick. Um, let's start with the main one here, it's the top itself. So one big piece of resin. What's great is, especially for the second scale, you can certainly see the. Um, you know, all the switches and that kind of focus. Um, yeah, so it's really detailed, um, solid piece of resin, easy to paint, um, very well defined, and also tons of details you see. One thing I'm not is an avionics expert, so whether this is true to the real thing or not, I can't tell you that. Um, if the switches are out of place or whatever, I just know it looks pretty good. Um, the throttle levers, you know, really nicely done. If you use the PE sets about earlier, these guys, the um, the 
throttle, the lever, the levers or levers, um, are levers, it's basically a thin piece of metal, so they're virtually impossible to kind of get in and, and, and mold. Um, so the resin makes it a little bit better. What I mentioned earlier about the, the casting block, um, so pretty much almost every cockpit I've used with Aries, you, this bit has to be sanded away. Um, how I do that is I have a belt sander, um, a cheap one from Harbor Freight, I think it's like a one inch wide belt sander, and that makes short work of these. Basically just hold up to the belt sander in a few seconds, it, it goes through. Um, the key to these things too is just you know sand a little bit at a time and just keep fitting and me measuring and don't go too far. You don't go through the floor. So take your time and just really measure it. Um, so again, this is really well detailed. And then um, the front instrument panel. Again, you've got the casting block right here that needs to be cut off with a razor saw. Well, I used like to use some resin is well, you can use these these kind of razor saws, which work good. But I actually prefer this kind. This is Zona. You get more from the main hobbyist stores. Um, really good quality metal hand. Uh, sorry, wooden handle. Um, work great for cutting resin blocks. And these are really cheap. They're only like five dollars U.S. dollars. They're not expensive at all. So I have this one, which is more finer, and I have this kind of lethal looking guy too. Again, these are only like five six bucks. But these make short work. Um, so you kind of when you're cutting these. That's my example. Okay, so like a seat, for example, here. You know, if you just cut through right here. It just makes short work of that. So going back to this, this is the um, the front instrument panel. These bits are blank. Um, and here you've got some resin info. Resin info. You got some dials in black, and then you got a clear part and some resin. Um, sorry, resin. Um, photo etch. My bad. Um, which kind of sits over top of it. So, okay, that's the front, and it obviously sits in from here, like this. Once once it's cut. Okay, rear the nav. This is really nicely done. The three screens there. And I believe it's aero scale too. They make dials, especially when it gets this large 30 second scale. They make um, all the, like modern instrument um, dials, so you can like for decals. So you know, for all the stuff here, you can actually buy the decals that go in there if you want to do that rather than paint it all. Um, again, all the buttons and stuff are really kind of nicely raised. It should be you know pretty easy to paint and dry brush. It's gonna look great when it's painted up. So this one is say I can't do it because of the block of resin in the bottom, but this would be the back seat. Um, what else? Got some cockpit like side panels. This is kind of the control stick and a few other little smaller parts. Again, just cut off the block and then they'll get glued on. When using resin, I just use regular CA glue, super glue, and two seats. The Martin Baker um, 10A, I believe, is the, um, the tornado seats. So again, really nice detail on there. Both the same. And then you got the the P, the photo etch P um, straps for the seat belts. Um, finally, I'm not sure what to think. This is just kind of rubber. I think these may be like wires or something you can put um, in there. And these look like two rails for the um, maybe the inside of the canopy. That's pretty much it. So one thing to note with resin too is you should kind of do modern day plastic. You don't really worry about so much, but with resin, there's always some kind of like um, oily residue the way it's cast. So you definitely need to wash these before you use them. What I do is I just put them in um, some some lukewarm water with, um, with a drop of um, dish soap, and then I have a um, oh, my throttle lever just broke off. Um, what I do is I just use a mild um, Sorry, lukewarm water with a dash of um, dish soap, and then I just have like an old, like well, brand new, but like a cheap t um, paintbrush, like a four-inch paintbrush, and I just throw soft bristles, and so you can just wipe and get all the crevices, and then just rinse under water and just leave it out overnight to um, air dry, and then you should be good to go. And you can go ahead and prime onto that, and then start painting it. So, I'm gonna lose those levers, so I'm just put those right there. So, kind of get your idea. You've got the kit right here. It's kind of show the difference, detail. So you also see the detail on the resin here. 
to compare this is the um, this is a cop this is what comes with the kit so you see it's night and day really the difference um, and the kit isn't bad has some raised details and stuff but in this scale you know it really makes a huge difference and then I think the instrument panel is what is it This bright plastic, light plastic, really hard for the camera to pick up. But you see, there's a decent detail on this kit. Some, you know, this isn't bad. Some kits, you know, have terrible ones. But again, compared to this one, it's just way more pronounced. The detail, um, just better or all look better. Um, then what happens is, oh, this is a huge kit. So these are the, this is the front section. So then, you know, this just kind of eventually kind of fits into here. You have some fitting, the valve fit into it like this. You can kind of see how it fits. Um, it looks like it fits pretty good. Um, I've seen some battling and stuff, but that looks sitting like that. And then the weight of it too, it will really weigh the airplane down. So um, often, you know, with nose weights and stuff, you, when you got a lot of resin in the front, you have to worry about it so much. Um, so that's really it. So that's just my quick review of the. Um, Again, what it is, it is the Aries set number 2130, which is a cockpit set for the Revel 132nd Tornado IDS or GR1.